Ah, oh, did that hurt? I did not mean to. Chara, wh- why are you doing this to me? Isn't it all obvious? First, I'm doing this to ask you out. <laughs> I mean, he always been belongs to me anyway, and not for you. What? Yours? Astra was always been my lover. How could you? Sometimes, fate always plays with your feelings. Oh man, fate really hurts when you find out about it. <laughs> Anyways, you know everyone hates you now. Isn't it ironic? Because back then, everyone wants you, everyone loves you. But now look at you now, the whole country hates you. Oh my, what did you ever do to them? And now look at you, they want to execute you now. <laughs> Not my problem though. Chara, no, could it be that you're the one who's behind this, all of this? Bingo! <laughs> You're totally correct, and no mistaken to be in fact. Now, now, everything has been switched around, you know. <laughs> How funny! You know, sometimes when you fall in love, we can do everything crazy, even blaming your own sister, just for your sake of love. <laughs> Now, do you see this stuff? Oh yes, this stuff. This is also the same stuff I used to make everyone hates you. <laughs> I'm really, really sorry, Fres, but I cannot help it. I am truly in love with Azrael, so I cannot. But now I'm reusing this stuff for one purpose again. And that is turning you to a pure human, so that way you can never report me to father if you went back to the ocean to our kingdom. Do you hear me? <laughs> Chara, what have you become? Don't worry, Frisky. I'm just helping you out right here. I mean, don't sisters help each other out? <laughs> I mean, kicking you out is my best solution. Instead of you getting executed, that would be pretty sad, you know. The city's cold and empty. No one's around to judge me. I can't see clearly when you're gone. Oh.